feature film directed by Mandela Dube about the life of freedom fighter Solomon Mashlangu. His life was uh, ended at the age of 23 by execution during the height of apartheid. Mashlangu was a typical teenager at the time growing up in the poverty-stricken community of Mamalodi. The film is scheduled to be screened at this year's edition of the Durban International Film Festival. I'm joined by the director here in studio. Mandela, good morning. Thank you much for joining us. Thank you for inviting me. Um, the story, Kalushi, I mean, if you, if you listen to the interviews on radio and you see the articles in the newspaper, you, you, come, you come up with this idea that there wasn't a lot, or people don't really know the story of Shalomon Muslango, mm. and that there are bits and, 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 bits and pieces of, uh, of his life, and people maybe understand one element, but you've tried to tell a holistic story here. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, it's uh, very difficult to do a biopic, you know, mm. um, and I think we were very fortunate in the sense that we took a long time in as far as compiling this research uh, by talking to his commanders, to his family, to some of his friends that he grew up with, and also from the international community that was involved, mm. and also we used the, the archives from the uh, National Department of Arts and Culture uh, to be able to sieve out who is this guy, what does he want, and mm -hmm. how did he get into all of this, and ultimately what happens to him in, uh, at the end. What, what story, as the, as the visionary, as the person who's got to lead this, what story did you want to tell? Well, I want to just put a blank out there and say this is what happened to this young man, and uh, it's uh, tragic. You know, how I came about to do this film is uh, I was lecturing at Vets University, mm -hmm. uh, lecturing cinematography, and... Um, and I just saw the apathy amongst my students, you know, mm -hmm. and not really having much depth in as far as our heritage is concerned. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just took it upon myself. So well, I would like to tell stories that my students can be proud of, that they can also begin to, f you know, to formulate some kind of a, a narrative for content that can be uplifting. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's very, when you see yourself, as a black person at the cinema, you, you just, there's a sense of energy that you connect with and say, wow, <laughs> I'm being reflected on the big screen. And um, it's, it's a very good thing. I mean, I, I come from that background where I, when I was uh, studying film, I, you know, I grew up watching films by, that Spike Lee had made and um, people like Gordon Parks and, uh, mm. you know, uh, Jibril Job Mabeti and so forth. And it made me feel proud to be you know, a black African man to see myself reflected on the screen, negative or positive. But you know, it's uh, it's something that I think we are at the at the stage in South Africa where we need to start seeing positive images of ourselves mm. on the screen. So Solomon Matlangu was mm. and was ideal, and also telling it in such a way that's relatable, so that peop when people watch it, uh, the beautiful thing when I spoke to both Tabos, uh, we interviewed them uh, um, a couple of months ago. At the time, you were uh, part of the. Uh, Rapid Line Film Festival was the debut of this film as well. Mm -hmm. It's since gone to travel the world and now it's in Durban. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that it was was uh, Tabo, both Tabos were quite um, um, expressive about the fact that this is a visually a great story. You've got everything from action, you've got, you're telling this biopic, but there's, you're going to enjoy the story. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's, a, it's an emotional roller coaster. You know, you'll cry, you'll laugh. You'd also, I mean, which is what we are after as filmmakers, for people to get into the mm. cinema and turn the lights off. And then the minute that the lights, that the screen comes on, we want to be able to take you from one emotional uh, standpoint you are to the next one and bring you back to that one. So, yeah, you're going to be excited when you see the film, you know, when it, when it uh, comes out of the cinemas. And uh, I'm very thankful that the Devon International yeah. Film Festival was able to uh, select us to, to, to be in there. And, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. And What's the reaction been like? You just came from Cannes. Uh, yeah, we were just at the Cannes Film Festival uh, with the support of the National Film and Video Foundation. We got beautiful uh, um, um, feedback. You know, people from Cuba, Mexico, Brazil, Canada, United States, UK. You know, we're in a small cinema room to mm. see it. And uh, they came out there in tears. They came out there very excited some of them were just very thankful and some were even asking can you please bring the film to our respective countries and so forth and so i think it's very important you know with agencies like the national film and video foundation that we mm. continue to go from strength to strength uh and have a serious um footprint as african uh, uh, filmmakers uh, globally because the time is right right now to do that
to do those kind of stories. Okay, Director Mandela Dube in studio talking to us about the Kalushi film that will premiere uh, or will uh, sch schedule to show at the Durban International Film Festival. This movie has been getting some amazing um, reviews all around the world. Go and check it out. The trailer is absolutely amazing. Uh, we, take an, we go to the weather wall where as we are standing.